Hello, welcome to Sephra Korea's cooking channel. I am her mom once again with you. Uh, it's a very simple chicken curry recipe. Okay, very simple. Now here are the ingredients and the uh, pre-cooking process before cooking. Look at the plate. Okay, it's uh, one coconut, fresh coconut for one kg chicken. Okay, I have uh, taken out the thick juice and the thin juice okay this is the thin juice and this is a thick juice of three fourth of the coconut okay see I have used this mixer to do it I kept it without washing because it's fine then the quarter of the coconut I have kept it for grinding one marble size tamarind I have one marble size tamarind uh, 10 green chilies this is one uh, sliced onion uh, this one heaped spoon of roasted gram you can take other gram also gram roasted gram then uh, one handful of coriander which i will use half for grinding and half i'll keep it for the second part of the cooking this also it is half while uh, cooking the chicken and this is one in ginger and this is one pod of garlic which is cleaned and as I told you this is the quarter coconut fresh coconut and a pinch of turmeric I will use while cooking okay and one heaped spoon of coriander powder this is dry coriander powder i will put it for grinding so i will put it in the jar straight away i have salt here i will use while cooking and i'll show you when to use the salt you have to be very particular when to use the salt now let's uh, put in the stuff for grinding To make it very easy for grinding and making the paste fine, I will just slit the 10 green chilies. Now don't be shocked that the 10 green chilies I am using, but it's fine because these green chilies are not very pungent. Okay, I will put in the tamarind. One sliced onion. Now no roasting the coconut, okay, mind you. The roasting coconut and uh, the ingredients is uh, another recipe which I will put some other time. Ginger garlic, I will uh, make the ginger pieces because then it will grind fine. I can put some little water and grind it, okay? You see how much of water is needed to make it a fine paste, you know? You have to judge because in course of cooking, over a period of time you will know. sometime I will uh, continue grinding but let me start the process of cooking in two, two stages I have to cook okay as I told you pre cooking preparation is there grinding masala separating uh, the seasoning stuff now cooking in two stages I will light the vessel okay let the vessel get heated Now see very carefully, 
the vessel is heated okay i will put in the washed chicken i'm not putting salt at this stage i'll boil this in thin juice i can close it boil it in thin juice without salt okay let it boil as my chicken gets cooked in the thin coconut juice i will continue my grinding it's time management safra still get fine okay grind it more let me stir it viewers please don't hurry with anything you know it will mess up the recipe slowly do it what's the hurry in this and you know <laughs> cooking is a very therapeutic this is the okay just check it should be 75% cooked just show this how it is is cooked in uh, thin uh, coconut juice it is okay okay i'll take it out from the gas keep it on the side i hope you are observing me very carefully okay uh, ghee i am looking out for ghee just give me a uh, the first process of the cooking finished now this is second i have taken this uh what do you call it okay this is ghee wok is hot I'll put two tablespoon of ghee. Not to worry, okay. Once the ghee gets hot, I have to strain these chicken pieces and put it in this wok. Don't waste the broth. nicely braise these pieces in the ghee yes uh, can you believe it's 1 kg after cooking it becomes like this okay and uh, keep this on medium high not high flame medium high flame because nicely the chicken pieces should get braised nothing will be wasted here just remember the flame should be medium high let uh, the pieces get nicely roasted in the ghee brownish it should turn slightly brown don't burn the bottom of the pan okay slightly brown i'll reduce the flame and separate this from the pan and i'll keep it in this 
reduce the flame. And I have to put this sliced onions. You see, I had kept aside, fry this till they are slightly brown. Increase the flame now. You can put little more ghee. I always say Sephra you must have lot of patience if you want to the dish to turn out well because everything has its correct time of cooking, correct time of putting the ingredients in it you know and lots of love. If you will have noticed I have not yet added salt because it is time to add salt in this particular dish because I am using coconut milk. Put the chopped coriander and fry it with it. Okay. Now see how the onions are fried. Don't burn them. Now is the time to add the ground masala. Fry it till it is slightly brown. Reduce the flame, do not worry the vessel will not get bottom burnt, nicely fried so that the raw smell of the ground coconut will fade away. Yes, fry it till it nicely, it becomes slightly brown at least. I have not reduced the flame, okay, the flame is high only, it is a medium high in other words. Now here if you notice, I have put that you know thin juice that remained from boiling, I put it in this mixie to wash the mixie, okay. I will not waste this because there is also remaining here. All this will be used. Now listen, put it. and. You see, it the oil leaves the sides of the pan, then uh, the thing is cooked. If you noticed, the oil starts leaving the masala. You see here, look, that is the time this is cooked. See if you can notice, look here, okay. Now I will put in the chicken pieces. Okay, just reduce the flame because now I have to put salt. This is the time I will put salt. Now be very careful, look. It's done. Uh, a pinch of turmeric, very less.
it has got stirred i will put in the uh, you know the thin juice which i had cooked thin coconut juice which i had cooked the chicken i put the remaining stock look no wasting anything all the juices are stir it properly close the vessel till the chicken gets the remaining 25% cooked stir it nicely the flame put medium high and let it get cooked see at what stage you have to put the salt okay now it's not yet one more ingredient left let me wash my hand just a minute i am to put some where is the spoon yes uh two spoons of of course this is i use for coconut grinding two spoons of vinegar get cooked because there's a thick milk i have to use let us let this get cooked okay medium medium flame otherwise the masala will get burnt check for the flame let me check if it is cooked yes see the pieces are splitting okay it is cooked stir it well you can check for the salt and all that now it's time for me to put the thick coconut juice let this come to a little boil 2 minutes and then put it off your consistency can vary you can put less water depends yes i'll put it off now okay don't boil it for a long time after putting this thick coconut juice put it off and wait let it be there for 5 minutes till i serve it in the dish okay and don't waste the coconut milk you see hmm i'll serve now Sorry, I'm a little messy. I will uh, see that I will clean that dish top. It happens here. It's hot. I think it's done. Yes, it's lovely. Okay, I can uh, you know I I what to say? Smell the aroma. Okay, and beautiful. Now I am ready to sit and lunch. Thank you, my dear viewers, for the patience that you have with me because this is a laborious but beautiful dish. I promise you, you cook, follow my steps in every cooking, uh, pre-cooking, cooking period, and serving. Thank you.